what is up guys it's soul bash we are back again today playing eternal arena now guys before we get into the video i want you to remind you this game has a sponsored link it is in the description below i'll put it on the screen right here where you can see what it looks like it's safe link what this link does is it takes you to the google play or the ios store and lets you download the game to try it out for free and meanwhile it's a sponsored lead this does help us out here at soul bash gaming and um if we get enough downloads on this game uh we're probably gonna do a giveaway uh we'll see how many we get and in the future i'll give it about a week and we will go from there but they did have an update uh on saturday december the 19th and uh this is it we have a heavenly gift today's first three arena battles will not cost bigger that's pretty cool now it lets me do more arenas. Now it's the first time signing in since I've played in a while. And let's go through and collect our daily stuff. And actually, I want to show you something. You see the honor rank right here, 1,860 out of 2,600. This game has an honor rank system. It's similar to like VIP and the other games that we play. But the diamonds that you collect daily from logging in, you actually can rank up from that and you get different things. As you see the rewards I've collected already just from playing the game. Um, I did spend a little bit to get a daily card from it. As you can see, once we rank up again, this is the next rewards that we're gonna collect, some Sun Wu consoles. I'm very excited for that. We should be able to take him up to a five star on there now task i'll show you here see this is the uh, 100 diamonds that i collect every day that i bought and let's go back see what other rewards we can pick up real quick the uh, sign in bonus you see i've only signed in four days this month uh well, we're not doing too hot on those uh we have blessings that's the uh event going on right now that they did with the update and winter carol this is another thing they added uh, you can recharge diamonds and get the same amount of winter bells for free. It's pretty cool. Task, uh, we can collect some stuff. This is for the winter update. Now, that's the soul stone of the Esther. That is one of the uh, new pets that came out. We need 90 of those to collect her. Winter bells, okay, cool. So, once we start doing some stuff, uh, you can pick more things up through that. Uh, what I wanted to get into today is uh, let's go to the portal tavern and we're gonna have a free draw from this we'll get three winter bells and we already got that guy so it's gonna convert them into soul essences that's pretty cool and blacksmith let's take a look here one free draw from it more winter bells there and we got filled boots now that's where items come from and that's kind of what I've been lacking on is getting some items so uh, we're gonna spend some diamonds uh, I've got 2423 in the blacksmith so let's see Let's do a draw 10. It's gonna cost 2,400 diamonds. We got 50 winter bells. And let's see what we get. Life orb, destruction cape, plated mail, arcane rod, arcane scepter, protector plate, tribal aspect. Okay, we got a nice purple piece of equipment, mystical cape, another one of those. Already have one arcane scepter and a guitar. That's not too bad from uh, those rolls. And let's go into here. And of course, we're gonna have Ashley, which is gonna be able to use one of these pieces of equipment that we just got. Swap this out, tribal aspect, swap. And let's auto upgrade this. And it's gonna cost 40,888 to level that up. And that's gonna upper power to 10,210. All right, um, let's see. Let's get into some duels now this is the pvp x another pvp aspect these are actually against other players um i'm in the bronze league right now as you can see and we're gonna attack somebody and show you how this works now in this pvp duel you actually have zero control over the characters they're gonna auto play everything by themselves, and the strongest team is gonna win and let's see exactly what happens. My son Wukong took a lot of damage right there at the beginning, but now he's stunning everybody. He has went down. We still got the mage up and the other warrior, and it's not looking too good. It's down to the mage, and she gets taken out. Uh, PvP is actually pretty cool because, I mean, it 
it's kind of based off power but they had two levels on me right there on one guy and the other one's not so much uh, my rank is unchanged and you get dual gems regardless if you win or lose and what those dual gems are used for is you can exchange them for different things here common elixirs to actually level your character up soul essences you can actually buy some of the heroes in here as well so save them things up if you do them every day you can actually get some pretty nice heroes and four and five star them guys out another aspect is a guild which i've not got into yet we have the arena which we have three free plays on the arena so we're going to jump in a stony gorge match level 30s versus level 30s should be a uh, pretty even fight hopefully i do have a little bit more power than they do i'm going to switch over to ashley and use her and we're going to jump into it and uh, let's see what we can do leading out i'm going to drop the blade first drop my other guy right here which i have to be close enough to there he goes and we're gonna push push all the way back to this and looks like they are already one man down the respawn times vary depending on the thing and let's stun this guy get a blade out on him kill up fall back a little bit and okay he's going for that heart so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna heal myself up Got healed up, coming back in, and we got a killing spree going on. Ace, oh, Sun Wukong just took all three of their team out by himself. This guy is beastly. I've got him uh, up to four star already, and he just bounces around and does a lot of damage. I got a kill there, pretty sweet. And we got one more of their guys left. I'm gonna throw a heal on myself, stun this guy, throw the blade out. And there you go, Sun Wukong come in and finished him off for me. Let's take this tower down. This is their only defense. Got it down, and it's nothing but their base left that we have to take out. We got the ace again. We have eight kills, and they have none so far. So this has been a very lopsided match. And my guys just went back there and took them out, and we aced it and destroyed their tower. A win for us. 100% power, 10 out of 10. You get a pretty good bit of experience doing these, and um, you get some pretty awesome rewards, some nice bit of gold. And considering that was free, you can jump right back into it and do another one. Now, same, I'm going to uh, go with Sun Wukong this time, though, and I'm going to try out some of his abilities. I haven't actually played with him a whole lot. And this one right here leaps in. It does damage that's a stun right there and that lets me move and we've got them to retreat pretty quick auto attacks I'm gonna throw the heal out on myself stun this guy before he gets away got the kill and can we get this guy no I'm gonna retreat the tower is attacking me okay we got the pets tanking now actually uh, let me pick up this defensive shield heals me up a little bit I got another heal throw off on me and I'm gonna have to retreat and pick up this health. Now the attack power is back there, but I'm gonna save it. And we got another attack with that. Three of them in a row, the dash. Oh, he's gonna get away. No, we got him. Stun this guy for the heal. Got that one. All right, I'm being targeted. Okay, now we can go in and attack the tower. Looks like they have one guy left standing there, but she's standing behind the tower and I'm not gonna push that far. We're gonna go back and grab something to heal up with. All right, we got an attack boost. We got to heal up. Coming back in. They're still trying to stay semi behind that tower. And let's see if we can't finish this guy off. No, he's gonna get away. But we're so close on the tower. Let's go ahead and take it out. All right, avoid this chick. We're gonna go back and heal up. Got a heart here, and it looks like my guys are doing okay over there by themselves. Another heart just spawned, so actually two of them did pretty nice. We got an ace, and it looks like this is about to be the end of this one. They're going down pretty quick. 
and it is destroyed. 75% power, we only got six kills that time. A little bit less gold out of that, but we got more experience out of that one. And let's take a look at some other aspects of the game. Um, the let's see, you go into Portal. Now, Portal has a lot of different things. You have the Goblin Hunt, which is only available certain times during the daytime. And let's get into it. Basically, this right here, I'm going to auto play it, but your objective is to kill. As you can see as many as you can and it tells you if they get away they're gonna flee and your current score and it looks like the timer started at two minutes so you have two minutes to kill as many of these things as possible and they continue to come and they do run away we've had none flee so far 26 killed current score 345 uh, let's switch over to this other warrior and let's take a look at the skills that he does now, I know you've seen the one where he grabs the guys and jumps that right there. That's pretty awesome and His third ability is coming up soon That right there does a pretty good bit amount of damage It looks like it sends three of his own self out and it hits them and We've lost six seven people so far that are fleeing and it gets pretty chaotic but the mission is to just kill as many as possible all right we're down to 15 seconds we got 107 killed 40 of them had fleas so far score of 1300 1400 going up fairly quick five seconds to go this guy is trying to get away we do not want him to flee now the purple sections i believe that's just where they spawn at goblin hunt reward 14 stamina uh okay let's go on here we got a winter bell 10 stamina for completing that and that right there is the goblin hunt you also have monster hunt uh which ends it, it's like the other except it's only available for a certain time during the day as well the select my three guys and let's do an autoplay now the mission here as you can see next stage is at 15 percent and the next reward you get a chest all right you got to kill the skeleton knight guy and it looks like it started at what 45 seconds so he's got a pretty good bit amount of health and as you see the total damage you've done right there i've got 100 percent damage bonus the next stage okay we're at 35 percent we've got to get to 60 percent and he's not even halfway dead 10 seconds left are we gonna make it into that 60% bracket? 51, 52, come on, three seconds left. Can we do it first time? Yes, that is the first time I've ever made it past the 60%. We get a basic reward, 12 stamina, eight vigor, and 100,000 gold. And 7,000 experience from that. We got 10 common elixirs, and for reaching 60%, finally, we get an opal headdress, okay? And I'll show you what we can do with that stuff uh you click the button right here and you can go into forge and what forge is is it takes lower quality items you need five at a time and you can see here it's got a success rate of 50 percent of actually combining all five of these pieces into one new piece which would be a blue item and this combined was successful we made a dervish scarf new piece of equipment and do we have five pieces of blue items yes we do we're gonna try our luck okay the success rate for blue items going to purple is 45 percent and it costs 20,000 gold and let's see what we can do this will consume the rare equipment continue confirm and that was a failure but you do get some items back hopefully you hit the salvage button plated mail destruction cape okay we got two of them back and we got six thousand gold out of it so that's not too bad considering we actually failed on the combine but we have enough to do another combine so we're gonna auto add another twenty thousand come on we need that purple piece of gear yes we got a pretender crown awesome let's go back and take a look at this uh, can we actually use this it's not showing up on any of the characters, so it looks like it's not going to be useful for now unless we get a different character. Let me collect some tasks real quick from doing the tavern draw, the blacksmith draw, 
you get rewarded for everything. We killed uh, 20 goblins in the goblin hunt, so we get stuff for that and five diamonds. Uh, upgraded to an expert. Collect from that. Successfully forged an item. Awesome. Complete one monster hunt. Awesome. All right, good bit of wards just for playing for what, 15 minutes? And we're gonna look at achievements too right quick as well. Uh, they have a progress bar. So far I've got 2,310 achievement points. And I'm gonna collect these. 100 achievement points for that and 100 achievement points for that. Now, once you get them up, you actually get a chest you see right there at the end. Uh, th at the next level, I'll get 75 diamonds. And I have 76 out of 40 uh, lightning or energy. So I'm gonna jump in here and do some auto runs. I'm gonna do this right here. You can rate it for two energy and you get experience and a possible chance of item. Got an orb there and you can just spam this button. And all I'm really looking for out of this right now is experience to level my guys up. That way I can actually do more on the next maps and try and get better gear out of combining this stuff in the forge. All right, and we're down to about 20 energy. And we're gonna finish this off with one more fight. Let's see. Let's go to arena and let's do a twilight for twilight forest uh level 31 on my wukong and we're going to get 32s okay so they got a little less power than i do but it's going to be an interesting fight and i'm going to go with ashley the mage on this one again i like using this one because it stuns a lot we're going to see which way these two guys go okay they're going both bottom lane sometimes they do split up but I'm gonna roll with them. That way we can have as much DPS as possible down here. And here they are. Gonna drop that guy out, spit everything out as quick as I can. And looks like we won the initial fight. We're gonna get stunned here in a second. That is ability from another character. And it's quite annoying. And let's get this thing killed as quick as we can before they do come back. I'm low on health, gotta get out. Oh no! It had me targeted just long enough to attack me while I was running away. And we have, all right, coming back. Both guys still at the bottom. Now, another trick about these guys, I've went up against some people that are way higher level than me and still been able to defeat them in here. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. If you look at the top right let me move this out the way for you i'm gonna put it right there and okay you see we have one guy down here he's retreating and you get power of course every time you complete a map all right we have two of them down here now every time you kill one of the guys i'm sorry not complete the map and what it does is that's annoying because it stays in the way okay they got one guy up there Ooh, he's trying to chase me down. He does not like me. Okay, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. Me versus a 32. And we're going to get him to run. He ran. All right, we need to take this stuff out. The little guy decided to attack. It's all right. It gives us some more power. And we're going to sneak up behind these guys right here. And see if we can't take him out. Got him down pretty low so far, and he's gonna run. All right, it's nothing but minions over here, so we're gonna push this lane while there's only one guy in it. And let's see if we can take it down. As you can tell at the top, it shows you exactly where everybody's at, and I was looking and not paying attention and actually just died. But we have our warrior coming in, he's trying to take him out. Get him, he got him. Okay, he avenged me there. So I'm gonna go back and push that top lane again to take that tower out. And we still got one guy down at the bottom holding the bottom lane. Middle is basically a jungle where you can farm stuff. And that stun was quite annoying. It catches everybody on the map. That is one of the abilities from the people on the other team. And they are on this tower here. 
So we're gonna do as much damage as we can. Okay, he's low life. Get a stun in, throw the blade, and we get a kill. No, that was close. Okay, the warrior went and finished him off. Taking a lot of damage from this tower. Gotta get back. Let some of these minions get in the way. All right, and let them tank it. Let them take that damage. Destroyed that tower. Okay, when you destroy a tower, you notice, watch the other guys. You see the orange movement at the bottom of the map, at the top right? They're coming for me now. So I need to avoid these guys because they're coming up. Yep, they're coming in full force. So we're going to go back around and I'm going to go bottom lane now. They are all at the top lane. They left that tower down here open. So we're going to take this tower. It is one advantage to this. You can actually time when they're going to be where at just for the fact of you killing a tower. Now, when I kill this other tower down here, they, of course, they're going to come down here to where I'm at. Get our minions running through here. Take these guys out. And here we go. Let's finish this tower right here off. They're going to switch, come down. So we're going to push, then go top. I'm going to get stunned in just a second. Heal up while it's doing that. All right, and we're going back to the top. And it looks like they stay top. That's very interesting because they don't really often do that. So I'm going to go up here and uh, pick them up. Actually, they're retreating now. They're coming for me. So I'm going to go back bottom. Actually, they're going to heal. Okay. Go back down here. Help my minions out since it's just it looks like me in this lane. And here we go. On the next tower. As you can tell, all three of them are still on top lane. We got one coming down to us. We're going to get this tower taken out. I'm going to stun her. Kill myself. And we're going to see if we can't finish her off. Nope, she ran. All right, tower destroyed. Now they are all coming. They are definitely all coming bottom, so we're going top. Take these out, get a little bit more power on the way. We still got one guy in the top, but look, it's gonna be three versus one. All my minions are here on the tower. So let's go high on the tower. Get a stun on him. Drop this guy and blade out. Oh, gotta get that heal off. Gotta get the heal off. Didn't get a chance to get it off in time. They all came top. All right, reviving in 20. Oh, they got two of us down. Okay, so four out of seven. We're gonna have to play this where we actually go with nothing but the towers. We're not gonna be able to stand face to face with them. I do have 100% power though. That is one thing I do have going for me, but I'm sure they do as well. So we're going bottom again when we respawn and we're gonna push that lane because there's no more towers on the bottom side and it's just nothing but the bases. You have too many bases on the outside, and we're getting slowed and stunned coming. See how annoying that is? And looks like our minions are already pushing on that bottom side as well. They just got a double kill. They're pushing hard on that top lane, but they still have towers to contend with up there. So we're going to drop my pet out. And we're going to take this tower out, down. Oh, they've already taken it down. So we're going for the main tower. And this is where they're going to come for me as well. It looks like they are on the tower as well. Oh, they got it down in time. We did not have enough time to get into it. That was a defeat. Still get a buttload of experience for that, guys. Almost 10,000 for my characters. And guys, this is Eternal Arena. Can download it for free in the description below there's a link there you download it and it helps us out here at Soulbash gaming and guys let me know what you think about the game if you're playing it uh i am on the server thunder drum and as always 
like comment and subscribe i'm soul bash you guys have a nice day you do have an autoplay function right here and the characters that you have you have three different abilities and i believe as you tier them up they have one star two star three star four star and five star um heroes that you're using and mid fight check this out you can actually swap this and they recommend like 380,000 might for this um, I'm pretty sure I was far less than this at the time that I did this one but basically keep the trash down once it's done you'll have the boss signal flash making you aware that the boss is coming and